so here we are at Puerto Vallarta and pulling into the harbor. Quite a nice resort area and I understand there's zip lining and all number of offshore activities that can be done. You see that little boats in the harbor. So once you get out of the ship in Puerto Vallarta, you come into this area here where all the tour vans are taking off. So you can sign up for any number of tours and they'll van you everywhere you need to go. U.S. City, lots of congestion, lots of traffic, hustle and bustle. Well, the true jungle nature of Puerto Vallarta does come through though. We're on the boardwalk at Puerto Vallarta and we're still seeing areas of jungle coming through. Get a good look at how the jungle and the city merge together. Lots of clean shops. But areas where there aren't that many tourists. Well, there's always time for some shopping at Puerto Vallarta. We're right next to the beach. Let you see that. Here's one of the beaches along the Playa de Oro here in Puerto Vallarta. There's another cruise ship coming in that we just saw. Not too many people on this beach. It's a lot rocky. Beach is rocky near the ocean, but we got uh, some nice beach up here. Very hot day though. A lot of bikes coming through here. Well, one bike anyway. Here's some flavors of Puerto Vallarta. Of course, we do have to buy things. Souvenirs. like these little shot glasses for the boys for pencil holders Halloween anybody? and of course something for mug collectors no that is not a shooting range next door they're using a nail gun Construction is always being done in the tropics. Well, Joanne tells us that uh, we have a celebrity cruise line uh, ship over there that came in just a little while ago. And our Carnival Miracle is on the other side of it at an angle in a little inlet. In a leather store and guess what? This guy still got his skin and he wants to keep it. The Duke's been here. And I think he's shooting a stage in cowboy action. I don't know who this uh, young lady is, but uh, somehow uh, we burst in on her dressing room. So we're here in Puerto Vallarta, and we're having a great time spending money. You know, it's the dinero, the dinero. And uh, the conversion factor is uh, 1 to 16. Remember that, because if you don't remember that, you're going to get overpriced and overpaid. Please, Mexican fleeced. <laughs> okay, okay. So here's how they harvest coconuts.
nice when they enjoy the work. Uh, there's Zonia climbing the ladder to nowhere. And I guess we can all do that. Parasailing along the Playa del Oro. Tell me about it again. What, what is this? Its name is tuba. Tuba is made from the coconut palm, and it's a fermented coconut palm drink. It's a coconut drink. This is better than whiskey. And it's fermented, and there you go. Very refreshing. Very tasty. What do you think, Kiki? Have you ever had one of these before? My first time. So tell me, how, what do you think about There's it? This thing called the Boom Bay Smash. And I was sailing around the Bahamas, really an island you can only get to in South Africa. So we're sailing around. I've never had anything like this. And you find this I wonder how they get, they get it so cold so fast. Um, because he well, pours it. that pot full of ice and yep. it just... He, he pours it into that, and then he dispenses it. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kenny. Well, Zonia, you're a two-fisted drinker of tuba. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful church here in Puerto Vallarta. That's Brandon out there at the church, Puerto Vallarta, right on the beach. Now we're walking the back alleys of Puerto Vallarta, headed for the marketplace. There's a marketplace right ahead there. So off we go to the marketplace. That's the flavor of New Orleans. All we need is a few fleur de lis and the proper smoke and uh, smells and we're, we're good. Uh, we're going up. Well, it's time for lunch, folks. And we got a nice table at Marusco's. Getting ready to have a nice lunch and then back to the ship. Sonia, is life a beach? Life is all in for beach. I want to live in the beach. <laughs> Moving tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm taking the chino with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, can you get in there? It, it's like, and it's like, anywhere you are is a beach with Corona. And of course, things go better with Coca Cola. And even here in Mexico, there's a slightly different taste in the regular Coca Cola because different kind of sugar is used. But the Coca Cola Light uh, is still very refreshing on a hot day. This is Jan's idea of cooling off. And I think it's a good idea. Didn't mess around with that strawberry I'm drink. Oh my god. That's one I swig. So that was one Look swig. I know. One second ago her drink was full. Her I am Kiki's so guacamole. Uh -huh. And her beef taco. My, my. We need some hot sauce there. slathered on that. Uh, is octopus. But they're like one piece. Like they're, they're not with small. avocado. Oh, wow. But it's like 35 And so salsa. Kenny's putting in some hot <laughs> sauce as habanero. Oh my. And and Kenny's trying to be bright now. He's going to have flames hot. coming out of his ears. <laughs> flames. Quesadillas by the threesome. 
This is lunch in local Puerto Vallarta. Taxi rides in Puerto Vallarta are exciting to say the least. Really? Oh my gosh. In the dining room? No, on the bus. Oh. I think the better check to make sure our, our life insurance policy is in effect here. Out the celebrity infinity came into port just about two or three hours ago and they've all disembarked so they're out there having a good time in Puerto Vallarta as we are getting ready to leave there's a Walmart out there now the thing about Mexico that I found out is that their economy is based on kickbacks. So whereas in the United States we don't have kickbacks that are that obvious, a lot of the kickbacks are subtle. In Mexico the kickbacks are all part of it. So that if a taxi driver brought people to a certain restaurant and recommends that restaurant and gets more people out there, he gets a kickback. Same thing for parking lot attendants and everything. Every night we get a little critter made out of towel art and tonight it's a brontosaurus. Really well done. Nice little surprise.